Hey everybody, Scott Gardner here from Scott Gardner Technical Services with another Shopify tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to configure Shopify to automatically send abandoned shopping cart emails. This is when a potential customer adds something to their shopping cart and then does not complete the checkout. I'm sure you've gotten those emails in the past, so we're going to do that. We're going to learn how to do that. Before we do, though, if you are in Canada or the United States and you would like me to build your Shopify website for free, all you have to do is fill out the Google form in the link in the description and I will build your site for free. All you have to do is pay the monthly Shopify fee once the site is completed. So check out the description, get that link, and let's get your business going. Now, how to configure your abandoned shopping cart emails. So here we go. We're going to go down to settings down here. And once the settings screen has loaded, we're going to go to checkout. And then we're going to scroll down a little bit. This takes a little bit of scrolling. And here we go with this section that says abandoned checkouts. And it you can see it's automatically checked off. So obviously, if we uncheck it, no emails will be sent. If it's checked, emails will be sent. So we can send it to anyone who abandons their checkout or email subscribers who abandon the checkout. So we're going to say to anyone that abandons the checkout. And here we can configure how long after the checkout. It's not recommended that you do it too soon because they may be coming back to complete their checkout or to add more um, products or whatever. So it recommends 10 hours, so we're gonna leave it at that. Now what we can do is we can customize this email. So we're gonna click this button here that says customize email. And here the email subject and then it has the body of the email. Okay, so these are all short codes here that will automatically populate the email with certain criteria. So the email title, the items that you left in your cart, um, billing address, and then the message, hi, Scott, you added an item to your shopping cart and haven't completed your purchase. You can complete it now while it's still available. Um, and so there's different options that it will randomly send the email to your abandoned checkout customers. Okay. And you can see as we go, it's all in code. So it's HTML email. So it's going to look nice and pretty. You don't really want to mess with this all that much because it is designed to automatically capture the information such as the customer's name, the items they've added to the cart and so on. But you can, if you want to change the subject, change some of this text here and so on. What we're going to do is now we can preview it and we can also send a test email. Okay. So, I'm going to click preview and here's what it's going to look like. Scott Gardner test store. This would be the name of your store. You left items in your cart. Hi, Bob. You added items to your shopping cart. Uh, and then you can click to see the items that are still in your cart. And then down here, it will show you the items that are actually in your cart. Okay. And then the customer can unsubscribe from cart reminders if they so desire. So that's pretty much what the item is going to look like. We're going to customize it a little bit. So I'm just going to add a little bit. Hi. Um, I see that you added an item to your shopping cart and haven't completed your purchase. Don't miss this item as it will soon be sold out. Okay, so I've added a little bit. We're going to preview that. Um, okay, so it's not going to show it to me because it's just one of the random. Uh, as you see, there's a bunch of different ones here. So you would have to change all of them and 
then you would definitely see what changes you made. But it's fairly easy to customize the text part. What you don't want to mess with is this stuff in the uh, in the short codes because that will break the email. It may not send their items properly that are in the checkout. It may not send, uh, it, it just may break it and you don't want to do that. Okay, so let's go back to notifications now. Uh, I'm going to leave the page. Oh, I forgot to save it. That's why, duh, that's why it didn't show it. But, um, so now we're back and we've gone to a customer notifications page. We don't really want to be there. So we're going to go back to settings, checkout, and back down here to abandon checkouts. Okay, so again, one more time, check or uncheck to send abandoned checkout emails. You can choose who to send it to, anyone who abandons, or just email subscribers. Okay, I'm going to save that. Uh, 10 hours we're going to leave it at, and then here you can go and customize your email. So now when your customers abandon their checkout, they will get an email after 10 hours, just gently reminding them to finish their checkout. And hopefully that will lead to increased sales for your store. This has been another Shopify tutorial by Scott Gardner Technical Services. Don't forget, check out the link in the form to fill out the Google form or in the description to fill out the Google form. And if you're in Canada or the United States, I will build your Shopify site for free. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this. Talk to you guys soon.